What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark David, and if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So I am buying more Pfizer stock, and I'll explain to you why I'm buying this stock. This is one of the first stocks that I ever bought as an investor, and I am absolutely long in these guys, and I really like the way that things are going with these guys and the direction that they're headed, not just as a company, but how they're um, just by looking at them fundamentally and by showing you guys a stock analysis and dividend stock analysis why i like this stock and why i'm going to continue to buy more and it has a rich tradition in the investing community and obviously the big thing is a vaccine that's one big thing that's on the market with these guys and why they're so marketable and why people are buying them and buying the dip and you know trying to capitalize on things with day trading but i'm going to show you the reason why i like these guys and I'm going to continue to buy more, and I have them on my fractional share uh, dividend portfolio. And I will show you some new details about these guys that really have me fired up and excited. So if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I am like exhausted. This is my second shift in a row. I picked one up yesterday. They offered me a lot of money I couldn't say no to on my day off. Uh, finishing an exam so i'm throwing it in my uh, portfolio and i'm starting a roth ira so i'll go over that with you guys in the future with my videos and why i'm buying certain stocks for my roth ira so let's check these guys out right now the pfizer is sitting at 52 dollars 78 cents its previous close was 52.08 day range was 51.11 to 52.85 its year range was 33.36 to 55.70 Market cap was $296.25 billion U.S. dollars. Its volume was $45.78 million. P.E. ratio is 15.67. Dividend yield is right at 2.96. And I always like a dividend yield of 3 to 5% or above. But there's some things with these guys as a company that I really like. And I'm going to go into a little bit more depth because I want to I want to do an individual video on these guys and show you guys why... I'm buying more. It, I have to be a little bit more detailed. So let's check this out. So with their quarterly financials, this is what I like. First of all, in April 2021, it was up 44.62%. It was 14.58 billion. Its net income was 4.88. Net profit margin was 33.45. Not bad. Operating income was 55.91. Cash on hand, blah, blah, blah. Cost of revenue, not bad. July revenue was up. 92.39% hitting 18.98 billion. Uh, net income was 5.56 billion. It's up by 59.44%. Net profit margin went a little bit down at 17.13. I don't care, and I'll explain to you why. Look, cost of revenue went up, cash on hand, net change in cash, operating income uh, went up a little bit. And here's October. So revenue went up 134.45%. Uh, it was at 24.09 billion US dollars. Net income was at 454.53%. The diluted EPS was 446.15%. The net profit margin was 136.6%. Cost of revenue was 400.81%. I'm going to show you their revenue recently and the past few years and how they're doing as well. So that's also important. A few things, here's 2014, this is in millions of US dollars, 49,605, 49, 48,851, 52, 40, 41, 41. Now, again, you can play the pandemic card and they went down a little bit because of that. And to be honest with you, the thing that Pfizer carries is not just a vaccine, it's not just some over-the-counter medications, they carry a lot of heavy hitter blood pressure medications, and there's going to be a rise in hypertension, they're saying, in 2030. Exponential numbers of people being uh, obese, overweight, statistically, it's already been proving itself, and there's a rise in hypertensive medications that Pfizer carries. Pfizer also carries antibiotics, which are very important. IV antibiotics. One of the biggest things that they carry that we've been having issues in the hospital with is labetalol. Labetalol is for people with hypertensive crisis. So that's one thing that they also carry. Pfizer also carries some antipsychotic medications and mood uh, medications, SSRIs, uh, anti-anxiety medications like um, the benzos. 
So unfortunately, there's a rise in mental health and those guys carry that. That's another thing. So again, this is not financial advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. Disclaimer in the description. Uh, but the thing is, these medications are in demand that these guys carry. So even if these numbers are right here, big deal. I showed you some things with their earnings report with their quarterly. So you'll probably you could be seeing a change with that. So there, a lot of their products are in demand. Like I said, antibiotics, blood pressure medications, psychiatric medications. And some of their over-the-counter over medications are also in um, demand as well. So these guys bring a lot to the table. Now, for me as an investor, this is what I like about these guys, and this is the best part of Pfizer stock. So look at their dividend history. This is 2013. It was 24 cents, then it hit 26, then it hit 28, then it hit 30, then it hit 32, then it hit 34, then it hit 36. It's a special dividend right there. And it hit 39 cents. But there's more information about these guys that make these guys more attractive as a dividend stock. So according to NASDAQ.com, they're at 3.04% with a 15.71 uh, PE ratio with an annual dividend of 156. So you're seeing one thing with this stock. It doesn't look like it's a good day trading stock. People like to pump this as of late. Day trading... Eh, I don't know. Buying and selling, getting the dip, okay, you know, but you know, it's not I you know, people that do calls on this one, it's it's not the most attractive one. People like SPY, people like QQQ and all those to do covered calls. But the dividends are what everybody's all about, especially from me being from a dividend investing standpoint. My thought process is Hey, it is cheap. It is not doing well against the S&P. It is increasing its dividend over time. And even better, you're going to check this out in this news, the latest news about these guys with Pfizer. So right here, it's at 39 cents. But this is great news. Look at this. The board of directors approved an increase of quarterly cash dividend to 40 cents per share. So this is on Business Wire. Pfizer today announced that its board of directors declared an increase in quarterly dividend cash on the company's common stock to 40 cents in the first quarter of the 2022 dividend payable March 4th, 2022 to holders of the common stock of record at the close of business on January 28th, 2022. The first quarter of 2022 cash dividend will be the 333rd consecutive quarterly dividend paid by Pfizer. The increase in dividend is a direct reflection on our strong financial performance and continued confidence in our current product portfolio in R&D pipeline, said Dr. Albert Barella, Pfizer Chairman and Chief Executive Officer. These guys are for passive income. I'm going to tell you this again. This is why somebody like me likes Pfizer. It's for the passive income. It's not for a traditional Roth IRA. When I say you know, it's great traditional Roth IRA material. I'm telling you that you see the trends, you see the dividend increases, you see the price per share go up over time, has a pretty significant stock split, and it's beating the S&P or in line with the S&P. Pfizer is not. This is a really good stock for dividend investors, and this is why I like Pfizer stock, why I own them, and I'm long in them. Sure, the vaccine's in demand. What about those blood pressure medications? What about those uh, antipsychotic med medications? What about the mood you know, uh, change uh, medications? What about the antibiotics they need in the hospital? What about people that need advanced cardiac life support medications? You know, they have a lot of things that are needed in the hospital, okay? And that's what makes these guys also very popular. So they not just, they're not just, you know, over-the-counter stuff. They have stuff that people need. Blood pressure medications are huge. Rise in hypertension, that's huge. And don't forget, antibiotic-resistant bacteria, that's another issue. And these guys carry antibiotics. So if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. This is Dark David, and you guys have a good